Derek here with ToolsInAction.com uh, along with Dan who's behind the camera right now. Today we're going to go over the Toro Lawnmower. The model number is 20197. This is a Super Bagger uh, series. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Alright. Um, needed a new lawnmower. I had one with a Tecumseh engine that lasted me 12 years. No, actually, when I got 90, so that'd be 21 years, dude. So, 21 years? 21 years dude, I got 19, Where is that thing? We should be showing that. Tom's got it. He needs to the yard. The two Tell him what happened with that. That's funny. How the neighbor asked to borrow your lawnmower. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I had I only did two oil changes on that thing ever. Um, no, my neighbor wanted a lawnmower, and I just made him. I don't know. I made him take the old one. I don't want anyone to use my. Yeah, he's he the, the, use it yet. the neighbor wanted to borrow his new lawnmower, and Eric's like, "Oh, it's not working. Take the old one." <laughs> great mower. It's powered by, this is powered by a Honda GCV 160. Um, it does have the auto choke system on there, so it's pretty maintenance free. It's not, I shouldn't say maintenance free because you got to change the oil. Um, but there's no choking system on here. Every time we've pulled it, again it's a brand new mower, but it's always started on one pull. Um, so we do like that. On the left over here, Dan wants to get the camera and wake up. This is a 21 inch mower by the way. Aluminum deck, right? Aluminum deck, yep. Um, so you just have the fuel on and off. So again, as you can see, you got the uh, auto choke system with the filter behind here. Changing the uh, height of the cut, just like any other lawnmower. It's nice, it's got nice big handles on here, so it's very easy to, to work with. You're not gonna sit there and mess around like on some, like on my old lawnmower, it was a pain to change the height. Um, cause anytime you really want to mow, especially in the, when it's hot out, you want to leave at least two inches uh, so you don't burn your grass. A couple other things we want to go over. Um, does come with so the mulching kit, which just pops right in the back. You got that. You got the bag system. Real easy to put on. That's that. That's oh, yeah. it. That's it. Oh wow. Yeah, you just have to go. Or if you want to throw the blower on there or whatever. What's this thing? Side shoot. Side shoot. And you just pop, just lift this up. So then you're not mulching. No, you're just blowing it out. I don't really know why you want to use one of those anymore, but I'm no, sure some people, people do. Yeah, I mean, but doesn't mulching create thatch? Huh? Doesn't mulching create thatch? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, We're not landscapers. No. By any means, but um, again, you put the oil in here. On this side, one thing that most lawn. What kind of oil does it take? The Honda, what's that? 10W30? Yeah, you can use 10W30. Is that what it says? I think so. Okay. That's what I got at the store, it was right next to it. Um, one thing, you know, it's got, it's got a dipstick on there so you can, you might not be able to see it on camera, but you, just like your, uh, so you can see if it's full or if you're low. If you do overfill it, you actually have to dump it out this way. There's no drain, drain valve or anything, a drain plug. You sure? Yeah, I know for a fact. You looked? No, because, oh well, yeah, when we got it back. Okay, because a lot of motors have like a little screw at the bottom, but okay. Mm, no, I haven't seen too many with them. Okay. Like you said, though, I'm not a landscaper. A uh, couple things. If you want to store it, you can just, this goes right down, folds right down, it gives you more room in there. Um, just one foot button, that's it, takes that's, it down. That's it, one foot button and it locks right into place. I like your socks. <laughs> <laughs> you look old. Yeah. Here's the coolest thing about it. I like the fact that it's got the Honda motor on there. You know, like I said though, that Tecumseh, I can't complain. 21 years with two oil changes, and it's more because I was just lazy. But there's two things I really like on the system is it has what's called a personal pace, which is awesome. As you're walking, which we'll show you, we're gonna show it to you more in action, but it's pretty boring watching someone mow the yard, but we will show you how it works. As you push down, it engages the back wheels, so as you're walking, it really truly does keep up with you. You're not so if you slow down, it slows it down. It slows down, you speed up, it speeds up. There's no like those old levelers where you had to put in one, two, three, four, five gear and try to- Well, that was in the 70s, Eric. 
We ridded a lot of lawnmowing a long time ago, and that's what we had. I forget what kind it was, but it was the biggest pain. That's the first thing that's cool. The second thing that's very cool is, you know, all these mowers now have safety features on there, so as soon as you let go, the engine turns off, the mower stops off, because some guy probably got his foot caught in there, so now they gotta, <laughs> <laughs> so they gotta put safety features on it. So what's very cool about this is when you wanna engage the blade, just push this in, pull back, and that will, it's called, it's the BPOS, it's, or BOS, it's the Blade Override System. So this now engages the blade, so you can start mowing. If you want to disengage the blade. So the engine will stay running right now. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And here's the two cool things about it, is that the engine will still stay running, which we'll show you. And if you need to go, you know, if you're going from the backyard to the front yard, you're not sitting there having to push it, fight with it. The, the uh, motor, the uh, personal pace system will still stay in place without the engine on, or without the Oh, blades? Engaged, oh, nice. Which is cool. I like that. The other fact, I get pretty lazy when I mow. You really don't want to run over sticks. It really dulls your blade. Um, with the lawnmower always shutting off, I would just run over them, again, because of just being lazy. This, boom, you can stop it. You can. The engine will still stay running. You can go pick up your stick, come right back, engage the blade. You're not sitting there having to pull, pull the engine and get it going. So overall, it's an awesome system. The one thing I really don't like about it is that you can come up. And the BOS system, you can see as I'm pushing down, what it does is it pulls this cable. And right here, this little plastic piece. It's kind of exposed. If you end up hitting a tree branch, it's not a really thick piece of plastic. You end up breaking it. If you break this, there goes your uh, personal pace system. Um, and the only reason we really kind of thought about that or knew that is when we actually got it, when it was shipped to us, this piece was broken. So we had to take it into the dealer. One, another good, well, one good thing is we ended up calling Toro. Toro was awesome. They answered the phone. People were speaking English. They told us exactly where to go, what to do. We took it in. Um, I did talk to the guy at the uh, Moore place. He said this is the first time they've seen one of them broken. So I'll take his word for it. But I just wish that was covered up or made out of a metal metal piece so you don't ever have to worry about that breaking or being damaged. Right here, it's just your stop, your engine stop. So as soon as you get done mowing, this will actually shut the engine down. So what I'll do is go ahead, I'll start it up. Obviously it's a lawnmower, it's a little bit loud. Um, just start it up and kind of show the personal pace going back and forth. That's what I'm going to do. That's um, what I'm telling you to do. Oh, okay. Just do as I say. All right, so we got the gas on. And right now, just the engine is running. It's a Honda, starts first time every pull. does keep up with you I mean you can go you can go pretty walk pretty fast fast pace with this um, what's the warranty well, good question that will put at the bottom of the screen um, well, you don't you read the, the instructions I, yeah I do but I don't remember every single thing you were getting on my case for not knowing what's the, the deck made out of aluminum okay went over that <laughs> the 21 inch overall it's a great system what we're gonna do on this we've actually only used it two times in the yard We'll keep you up to date on this, see how this thing's running, especially during next summer, see how it is over the winter time. Winter time, obviously, you want to uh, winterize it. We're going to show, we're going to do a video on how to winterize your equipment. So, yeah. we're going to do that in the next few weeks here. Well, maybe not the next few weeks, but the next month. Yeah, I hope we got longer than that. Overall, I really like it. Again, it's new, everything should be working. We shouldn't have any problems, and we don't. Um, but it's a great more. You really can't go wrong with the name of Toro and the name of Honda. So. Take a look at our uh, YouTube videos. Don't forget to subscribe to them. Um, also check out our Facebook and our Twitter account.